People across California getting tested for COVID-19 is the highest it has been in more than a month. Good evening, I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I'm Lindsay Pena. This comes as a surge in cases is driven by the highly contagious Delta variant. ABC 10 News reporter Adam Rakusen takes an in-depth look at the effort to ramp up testing and why some results are taking longer to get. Across the state, people are piling into COVID-19 testing locations. I think they're great. You know, if anybody's concerned about getting somebody else sick or anything, I think they're great to have here. In some cases, it's creating long lines. According to the California Department of Public Health, the number of COVID-19 test results across the state reached more than 74 million since the start of the pandemic. The state says in just one day, from Tuesday to Wednesday of this week, there were more than 133,000 tests reported. The rate of positive tests over the last seven days hitting 7%. We are unquestionably seeing increased testing. Dr. Omid Bakhtar is the medical director of the outreach lab at Sharp Healthcare. He says results of tests are typically turned around in about a day, maybe two at the most. But that's just for positive or negative. For the health agency to know if that positive result is one of the variants, it could take up to two weeks. Sequencing in general is a more labor intensive process. And then secondly, uh, the amount of equipment that's out there. The turnaround time Dr. Bakhtar mentioned for a positive or negative test mirrors what some counties across the state are seeing. 24 hours or less in San Diego, Kern and San Luis Obispo counties. We do have our own lab that does process results. Um, and then we also do work with the state at their state mega lab down in Valencia. Vince Perucci is the incident commander for the County of San Luis Obispo COVID response. With the Delta variant surging across the state, we asked him if all of the new tests are sequenced for variants. We would love to be able to do, you know, 100% sequencing, but again, with the increasing case numbers and the increasing interest in testing again, um, we, we're just having to basically triage and look at what can be sequenced. According to the state, in June of this year, 14% of cases in California were sequenced. The state is still Still working on final numbers for July. In Kern County, health officials say although the numbers may show less Delta variant confirmations, no, it's still out there in the community. As we get tested for COVID-19, it's a positive or a negative test, then the specimen actually goes to a different lab and is sequenced and only about 10% of our tests are sequenced statewide. And here's something else important that doctors stress. The understanding of exactly which variant is infecting an individual has relatively little implication for treatment of that individual. So thankfully that data probably isn't of huge uh, concern. Adam Rakusen, ABC 10 News. We asked the California Department of Public Health if there's any plans to sequence more tests and we're still waiting to hear back.